What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today I'm gonna to be walking around a 1969 Mercury Montego. Tego, Montego. <laughs> However you wanna pronounce that. We're gonna be doing a test drive on this car today. Uh, I believe it was a 302. That's what they're telling me inside the office. They said they haven't been able to identify the motor just yet, but they believe it was a 302. I'm going to take y'all down the road. I'm going to point out any kind of flaws running and driving wise. That way, when you get here, you know exactly how this car does run and drive. Once I get back, I'm going to do a walk around on the outside and point out any kind of flaws. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Follow us every day. We post cars all the time right here on YouTube. You can also check us out at Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. All right, guys, it's time. Let's go for a ride. Gonna take a look around the car before we uh, speed away here and check everything out. Horn does work on this one. The dash is all that fabric. Doesn't look too bad interior of this car looks pretty good too you can see a full detailed description of inside the trunk all around the car on my walk around video after this test drive if you're still interested you can kind of look around um go ahead and start it up here this one you do have to pull up on this it's uh got to be in park or it won't start but i have to do this like so it's a safety switch because like okay if i just let it flop down like that it's like i'll start pull it up it does start Gotta look over some stuff. We got a boost button over here. <laughs> if you really want to blast the radio. Uh, it's showing 75,000 miles. Could be correct. I can't stand behind it. This is a 69 model. Anything can be changed out. Uh, we'll try our windshield wipers before we leave. They're working good. So once that you play that game with, you can stop them anywhere you want. Heat and air. No AC the heat does work so we do got heat guys let's take off see if I got my seat belts actually seat belts look pretty clean we'll go ahead and put these on before we take off out of here What I'm gonna do is drive down the road. If I see something wrong with it, I'll call it out. You'll know about these cars before you get here. We don't actually work on cars, we just buy and sell them ready to go. So they may have some little stuff like wipers and horns that might not work. But this one actually does. The car pulls to the left. If I let go of the steering wheel, it's gonna pull me over into that lane. Speedometer is coming up. There's no lights on the dash. Our gas gauge is on E, so we're gonna stop. I wanna check the gas tank, make sure that the uh, gas gauge actually works. Kick down took done. And the brakes feel great. Car seems to be running and driving pretty good. Does have that slight pull to the left, but everything seems to be working. We're gonna check the gas gauge out. and uh, I think all the gauges work, as long as that one does. I did walk around, I checked all the turn signals and stuff. We got a bulb out up here on the front left. Turn signals on the back do work. I can hear it clicking, but I can't see it popping up. The uh, left turn signal light on the dash isn't working. Neither is the right one. They got the two turn signals right here. Neither one of them are lighting up. I can hear it clicking though. Like I said, I walked around the outside, they weren't working. pull up 
up here at the gas station. We're gonna put about twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in it, and we'll continue this test drive. Well, that gas station's still out of gas. I guess I'm about to stop going there. Make a new route. Some pretty good back roads back here. So. Down's pretty smooth. It does stop fast, and the steering feels smooth. There's no slack in it. As soon as I turn, it turns. Like I said, we're up here at the gas station. Going to run about twenty dollars of premium fuel in this car. We will be checking the gas gauge. In all the old classic cars, I think I found my new gas station. Uh, I'm gonna start coming here. It's got 90 with no ethanol. That's the stuff you need to run in these old cars with these old motors. All right, I'll let you know if that gauge works. All right, I sat down in the car here, getting ready to take off. Turn my key on. We'll watch your gas gauge, see if it moves. Looks like it does work. It was on E. So our gas gauge works. Looks like all of our gauges work. Let's go for it. Take off here. still riding nice and smooth the suspension feels good it's definitely pulling to the left still not as bad as it was We're gonna head on back to the lot here. Make sure to put this cord over y'all so you don't hear no ticking from it. So it looks like all of our gauges are good. We do have a water temp gauge down here. It hasn't really left 165. It's been 165 to 170 the whole time we've been driving. So not bad. does run and drive good steering's nice and tight the brakes feel good the throttle's good the kick down's hooked up all the gauges work um, our heat works radio works our horn works i think everything in this car seems like it works properly so 
once we get out on this main stretch back here I'll uh, see if the pulling to the left went away the brakes feel great that's a good running and driving car especially for a 69 model it's still slightly pulling to the left might need a front end alignment I'm gonna tighten our visor up a couple times I've had to push it up throughout the test drive rear view mirror up up here as well it gets tied up there and down here but right in the middle is kind of loose and it does have a screw on the side where you can adjust it Alright guys, that's going to do it for our test drive up here. I'm getting ready to do a walk around on the outside of this car and point out any flaws that I see. If you like this page, please subscribe. I post videos every single day. You can also check out a full inventory of Maple Motors at maplemotors.com. Got financing information, transportation options available, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. Also got the social media aspects covered. You can join us on Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again.